Hey guys, Mama Chicken Wife, welcome to the channel. I know y'all looking different, y'all way down there. Unfortunately, my um holder, I usually have you guys up a little bit higher. It broke, guys. And I have to get another one. I had it for a while, but that was before I started, decided to vlog. And since I'm vlogging more for you guys, I need to get a better holder uh, for my phone so when I talk to you guys you guys can see me and not way down there so if you guys know of any good um, holders for the car for iPhones let me know I had a couple of those holders and they always eventually they break this is like I'm going on my fifth one I bought one and, and I bought from the range of five dollars like from um, five below all the way up to thirty dollars um, I just can't find a good one that I'm not rough with stuff. Don't try to say that. I'm not rough with stuff. Did I tell y'all hi? Hey, guys. How y'all doing? I don't even know if I said hi to you guys. Um. So, yeah. So, today is another vlog. Hey, how many of you watched my Amazon video of that bag? Of that, that handbag I purchased? And if uh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that video. Go watch the video from uh, Amazon. I purchased a handbag. And it's a dupe of a of luxury handbag. And um, I talked to you guys in that video about when I purchase items. I purchase what I like with my coins. And if you're the type of person who d does not like luxury dupes, uh, my channel may not be the channel for you because I'm going to be, I will be doing a lot more of those uh, Amazon finds because I find, I found so far, some of them, not all of them, some of those handbags are pretty good and they're pretty nice. I like the way they look. But some up here, like when you look online, sometimes the color's a little off. That tweed bag that I purchased, again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to go look at those videos. The tweed bag that I purchased turned out to be a totally different color from what I ordered. But once I received the bag, I was fine with it because I ended up liking the colors. So that's the only thing I find with Amazon. You have to be careful with the colors, especially when it's something like a tweed bag because the bag is... Go look at the video and you'll see what I mean. I ordered a bag that was supposed to be black tweed with uh, different color colors in it, and instead I received more of a like a reddish, a red bag with gold in it. The gold is really pretty, so I don't mind it. But you you really want to get for the most part the color that you order. But sometimes you get a few surprises, and it was it was a nice surprise, so I'm not complaining about that. Um, I just received another bag today, and after uh, I check it out, or well, I might do a, a full unboxing on YouTube for those of you who, who like unboxings. I love unboxing. Some of you don't like unboxing. You don't want to see the paper and the, and the rattle of the paper. You just want to get to the content of the package. But I like unboxings, and you're going to see a lot of unboxings on my channel, hopefully, if I decide to buy some more stuff. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And sometimes I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you the content without, um, you know, doing the whole unboxing thing or whatever. But um, I know some of you enjoy it as much as I do. So I just wanted to tell you guys that it's it's like the weather out here today, boy, this is, what's today? May? May. We ain't in May. This is March, girl. <sighs> boy, this is March. And it's freezing. It is so cold, and then it's snowing, but it's just flurries. Thank goodness it's not it's not sticking to the ground or anything. But I wish this weather, Mother Nature, you know, I hope you uh, figure this out. But Mother Nature must be mad at us. She must be mad at us or something. Because one day it's like 60 degrees, the next day it's 20 degrees. I, I, I don't. If her man, if Mother Nature man acting up, we better cut it out. Get it right, cause you making Mama mad. And she don't know what to do. She all out of pocket with this weather. So get it together, okay? All right. But anyway, that was neat to hear that. I like to have fun on my channel. And um, if you don't like a channel where we have fun uh, with a person of my age, <laughs> this is not the channel for you, boo boo. Because we like to have fun. I mean, sometimes we um, we have serious things going on. But for the most part, I like to have fun. You know, I'm talking to you guys, and I went the totally wrong way. And this lady's on. Why when I'm driving, people like I'm. I'm in the. Um, I'm not on the street, guys. I'm in the 
a it's, I wouldn't call it a strip mall. I mean, it's a it's a mall type park, a mall parking lot. And this lady's on my bumper. Why? We're in the mall. We're in the mall parking lot. So I, I don't know where she want to go. So in such a hurry, but yeah. Every time I get, every time I'm with you guys, somebody wanna bother me. I, you know, with the driving, I, I'm not understanding. But anyway, all I have to do is make a U-turn because I went, I went right by the store I was supposed to be going. I'm supposed to be going to the UPS store. For those of you who watched my video, you know why. I'm going to take that bag. I decided to take the bag back because I was, I, as I was um, showing you, the, you guys. Um, the bag it kind of grew on me i started liking it i really really like that woven ribbon that woven ribbon is really really nice and i was considering trying to figure out how to use it on another bag or even using that ribbon for a belt because it's pretty it's pretty long but because the gold chain was not was a malfunctioning uh i couldn't even get it to open enough to get it on the bag so i was i didn't want to mess with it the bag was 25 dollars and change so i sent that bag back and I really wish I could have, you know, I probably would have kept it and tried it out, not for nothing, but I couldn't get the, the, the chain belt onto the bag because it wouldn't open correctly. So um, that's what I'm going now to take her back. And she's over here. Take her back to the, um, here she go right here. Take her back to um, the UPS store. Why is everybody at the UPS store today? It's crowded. Well, maybe they're not going there, but where I, where I have to go, the parking lot is like so many people are over there. Why? I don't know. Oh, I see. Oh, they're going to the bank, y'all. They're going to the bank. Okay. I'm like, why am I going to the UPS store? All right. So I'm going to go into the UPS store, guys. I'll take y'all along with me. Well, I'm not gonna take y'all in the UPS store because people, you know, they funny about being on camera. I, I try not to put folks on cameras who don't want to be. But this is what I'm doing. I'm taking her back, taking the bag back to the UPS store. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So um, I returned the package to the UPS store. You know what I do find if you uh, ever shopped on Amazon and had to return things? This is my first time ever, seriously, ever having to return something to Amazon. I never had to. But the ease of it was really easy. You, they give you a choice of going to the UPS store, going to the post office, or putting it in one of those Amazon drop-off locations. I think they gave you four choices. I forgot what the other one was. But it was really easy. All you do is, you know, well, those of you who use Amazon, you know how to do it. But I'm just saying for those of you who have never, ever returned anything to Amazon, Amazon makes it so simple. It was like one, two, three. Um, I chose return to the UPS store. They sent me a code. You, um, you have the option... Of printing out the UPS label, putting it on the package, dropping it off. You don't have to wait in line, just drop it off or whatever. Um, I didn't print the label out. I took the code to the store. They scanned my phone. It took less than two seconds. Scanned my phone, put the label. It's already, when they, once they scan your phone, the, the return address, everything comes right up um, on that label, sticking on your package, and on you're on your way. They give you a receipt. One, two, three, skippy. It was so simple. Because um, I was just a little concerned because I've never, ever returned anything to Amazon. But Amazon, y'all got it going on with your returns. I like the way they do that. So now I won't be so skeptical if I ever have to have a, a return to Amazon. And they did say once Amazon rece receives it, I think they have up to um, three days to, um, I think it's three days or less, to refund, to give you your refund, which is not a problem. Um, they're a reputable company. So I'm not really worried about the refund, but I feel a whole lot better about the return because it was so easy. Who knew? I didn't. So now I'm off to Best Buy. Today is return day. And I'm doing it all in one day because I never returned. I shouldn't say I never returned stuff. I do, but I never had three returns. Never. I don't return a lot of stuff. <laughs> I keep a lot of stuff. I bought this darn um, tripod. Let me see if I can show. I'm at a stoplight. Let me see if I can show it to y'all. Real quick, 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 quick. It's a tripod. It's just travel smart. Can y'all see that? Let me see. It's, it's a travel smart um, tripod. Now, it went at Best Buy for $16.99. I happened to go on YouTube, and I, I saw some 
one I don't know who it was I just googled tripods they had a video up I paid $16.99 for that they got it for $9.99 and they brought it last week so so I asked them I said where did you get it? they said Best Buy so I'm like what I said I just went to Best Buy and it was $16.99 was it on sale did you get a deal so he said it was on sale but when I went I guess it went back to regular price which is okay but when I went to put it together one of the screws fell off and then the whole thing just started falling. I was like, you get what you pay for. The reason why I bought a cheap tripod was because I have two expensive ones. And um, they're in the basement. And I didn't feel like going in the basement. Y'all know. Y'all understand. I didn't feel like going in the basement, guys. So I was trying to do a video and I needed a tripod. So I just ran it and, and got that one. But that didn't work out. So I'm going to take that back. And stop being, you know, as far as equipment, my husband hates the fact. He, he'd be like, don't buy that cheap stuff. Buy the good stuff. He don't want your camera. You know, because you don't want your camera falling. That's it. This tripod wasn't for my uh, SLR camera. I wouldn't dare do that. It's for It was for my iPhone. My SLR. My DSLR. Could, um, you going to let me go over? I'm trying to get over, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, for my DSLR camera. Um, I have a very expensive tripod for that, but I never use that camera. Yeah, I think I would, being that I, I do videos, but yeah. I don't use it because it's a, a lot more complicated. Like, it's easy for me to pick up my iPhone or my iPad and shoot a video. It's so much less complicated for me because I'm not technically inclined. So, that's going back to Best Buy. And the other thing that's going back... And I can't find a receipt. Don't know why. I just bought it. Uh, last, not even last. What's today? Friday? I bought it. No, Saturday. I bought I bought it Monday. And I can't find a receipt. I'm like, am I getting absent-minded in my old age? I just bought the darn thing Monday. I can't find a receipt. So they're going to have to give me a... Homegood's going to have to give me a credit. And I really... And it's $60. I don't want to... I really didn't want a $60 credit. Like, if I take something back to Homegood's, it's like $20 or less. I don't want a $60 credit, but if I don't find a receipt, that's my only choice. So, you got 30 days. So I'm going to look around and see, like, if did I drop it? Did she put it in the bag? And when I took it out the bag, I don't know. But it's a it was a rug, um, a runner for my hallway, but it just didn't turn out right. And I got something else to tell you about this. I'm, and I'm looking at the place that I went to. I went to um, a takeout spot. And I ain't trying to be funny. I won't. I won't say the the name of the franchise because you guys will know who it is. Well, no, maybe not. It's not. It's it's pretty new out here. It's not Chick Fil A. It's not. It's not. It's none of that. It's not. No. This this is they sell like food food kind of situation. And I'll put it this way: margaritas. Okay, real good margaritas. I'll put it like that. Come on, dude. What are we doing here? But anyway. I went there for the very first time. And anytime I go somewhere for the first time, I always, always do takeout. Because I figured if the takeout is good, the food's going to be good. So I go in. I went after work. I was by myself. Go in. And when I went in, they greeted me. They was very friendly at first. And um, how can I help you? I said, can I have a takeout menu? Well, they gave me a takeout menu. I looked at what I wanted told them what I wanted, ordered it. So after I ordered it, the girl walked away, but she didn't ask me for money or anything. And I waited for a few minutes. And then somebody else came up and said, can I help you? I said, no, she took my order. And she was like, no, she didn't take your order. I said, I just spoke to her. She said, she don't understand. So I was like, she don't understand. I'm like, okay, whatever. So then the manager comes up. I always got these stories, guys. I don't know why. And he says, can I help you? So he brings me over to the cash register. So I said, um, I thought the other lady took my order. He said, no, she didn't take it. I said, okay. I said, but I did tell her what I want. I said, but I just told him what I want. I said, I want, I want the, um, um, so I told him my order. So he takes my order. And it came out rather quickly, which, which was fine. And I, I'll tell you what I ordered. I ordered chicken, not, I ordered chicken nachos grande. And, um, you get the chips on the side. A big, a huge bag of chips. It wasn't Chipotle. It wasn't Cordoba. No, it wasn't none of them. Um, so after he gave me the, gave me, he rang me up and I noticed the price was higher. So on the takeout menu, the price for, for that order was $8.49. So on the receipt, it said $8.99 plus tax plus 25 cents. So I said, no, 
I think he rang up the wrong price. So he said, what do you mean? I said, so I showed him the takeout menu that they gave me in his store. I said, it says right here, it's eight forty nine. He says to me, he said, that's incorrect. I said, what do you mean it's incorrect? He said, that's the wrong menu. I said, what do you mean that's the wrong menu? That's, I asked for a takeout menu. That's what they gave me. Is this the takeout menu? He says, like, yeah, that's the takeout menu. But they printed it wrong. <laughs> that's not my problem. I said, well, sir, that's not my problem. It says eight forty nine, so I think that's what you should charge. He said, well, why did she give you this menu? I said, because I asked for a takeout menu. She said, yeah, but they were supposed to throw these away. I said, sir, I just came here to get try out your food because it's a new place. I just want you to charge me eight forty nine, like it says on your menu. Then he said something in a different language to his people, and they was all looked like they were fussing a little bit. So he says to me. He, then he says to me, um, in English, he says to me, "Oh, what happens is in the computer is the right price, and the menu is correct. The menu has cheaper prices, but in the computer is the right price." So I says, "You know what?" I said, whatever it is, I'm paying what's on the menu. I have nothing to do with what's in your computer. And nothing whatsoever. You gave me a menu, and that's the price that I'm going to pay. You know, like, don't, don't try to do these okey-doke. Tell me, oh, in the computer is one price, and, and on your menu is, is a mistake. Now, who does that? And the menu was a very nice menu. It was a, a three, you know, trifold menu. You know, very printed it off very very colorful very nice menu and i'm like what is going on here so i said and besides that so so he, he figured out i said i said so i think you should charge me 849 and some of you might say well, what are you fussing about 849 899 no you're a company do what you're supposed to do and do it correctly if you're supposed to be charging 899 charge 899 so if you're charging 849 charge 849 so that was that so after he rings me up he charges me an additional 25 cents so I, I was like, what's the 25 cents for? He said, that's for the bag. So I'm like, now see out here, I know there are some states where if you want a bag, you have to pay extra for a bag. I don't live in that state. Nobody, no, I've been living in this state for a while. No store out here, whether it's a food outlet, whether it's, it's, it's a clothing, no one out here charges for bags. Nobody, nobody, okay? Some states do that. Yes, I do understand that because I've been to some of those states where you have to pay. Sometimes it's five cents, sometimes it's twenty cents for if you want a bag. But that's not where I'm living. So he says twenty-five cents for the bag for takeout. So I said, well, where is that signage? Where does it say that? Again, y'all might say it's only twenty-five cents. No, do things the correct way. I said he couldn't show me anywhere where it says they charge twenty an extra twenty-five cents for a takeout bag. I take out food all the time. I go to takeouts all the time. So I said, where does it say that? Now this is a brand new store in, in our area, uh, which is a franchise. It's not a lot of them, but this is a, we don't have any, any out here at all. So that's why I was, you know, wanting to go try it out. So he says, well, that's what we charge. We have to charge for our bags. I says, well, no, since it's not, and I'm, and I talk just like this. I don't argue with people. I talk very calmly. Um, I said, well, since you, it's not anywhere printed that that's what you do, I said, I'm not paying 25 cents for a bag. He said, well, I'll give you a 25 cents back. I said, thank you. He was upset about it. He was kind of upset about it. He said, I'll give you a 25 cents back. I said, thank you. I said, so the next time I come here and I want to do a takeout, I'll know ahead of time that it's an additional 25 cents for a takeout bag. That's all I want to know. So he gave me my food. And, um, but mind you now, because I know some of what some of you are thinking, I already had my food. My food was already up there before we had this discussion. I'm not ne ever having to take out and discussing somebody with, with the manager or anybody about my food before they give it to me, because you never know. You never know. So I already had my food was already up front. It was just the matter of me paying for it. So, um, I thank him for giving me the 25 cent back. He says, yeah, but I, I charge everybody. I, I don't know what he meant by that. He said, but I charge everybody for the bag. I said, that's fine. I said, it's just that I didn't see it, you know, listed it. That's what you do. I said, but that's okay, but thank you. And he adjusted the $8.99 to $8.49, like it said on his menu. So, I don't know if he's drawing out all those menus, because they had a whole bunch of menus. You know how you go into takeouts, and they have all the menus out front? And they were really nice. I mean, they were the larger menus. They weren't those little small, flimsy ones. They were really nice. So, I don't know. But that was my little... I always have these experience. I don't know. The food, what I purchased, was okay. But 
I took a picture of it. I might I might stick it in here. The the chicken wasn't um you know how like Chipotle and, and Cadoba they season their chicken. It wasn't seasoned chicken, it was just like shredded chicken. It was okay, but I'm not going there anymore. For when I, someone put a bad taste in my mouth about something really, really small, like something like that, I, I don't have time. So I was like, mm -mm, nope, I'm not going to do it. But that was one of my adventures. And another thing, guys, I'm going to go into Best Buy. See, I don't know if y'all can see that. See Best Buy right up there. Can you see Best Buy? I think I did it a little bit. I don't know. There you go. Y'all see Best Buy? That's where I'm going to do this return. And, um... I'm thinking about guys. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. Look at um, my last video with the with the um, Amazon handbags. I'm going to be putting up some more Amazon purchases for you guys because I find some of those items are really nice. But I don't know what how good the quality is, so that's what I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to share that with you guys. And I'm really thinking about doing a giveaway. Y'all think I should do a giveaway? When should I do a giveaway? Now or should I wait till I get 4,000 subscribers? Y'all let me know. Should I wait till I get 4,000 subscribers? or 500 likes which one 4,000 subscribers or 500 likes and then i'll do a giveaway i won't tell you what it is but i'm gonna give you something let me know or let me know should i give do it okay why y'all doing that why 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 something always happens in my videos fire engines but anyway um if i should do a, a, a giveaway on my channel or not let me know and um yeah let me go on best buys guys if i don't um continue when i come out because i have to i'm going i'm going to best buy and then there's something i have to do but i just want to say hi just want to pop in and say hi to all you guys thank you to all my new subscribers my regular subscribers i love you guys love so much. anyway i gotta go guys thank you for watching and always 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 remember guys you gotta be strong see you in the next video Bye bye